Um, you know, it was brought to me. Um, not saying he couldn't get in the race, but he needed a little more help. And um, being in Indiana, knowing about the 500, and uh, something to be cool to be a part of, and I wanted to give him a helping hand. And he could help me out with some sponsorship on my building, the, the facility that we're putting up called the factory, um, a sports facility. And uh, it was awesome, a great partnership. Where, it, where is that? Man? It's in Speedway, actually. Speedway. Yeah, right by the track. So it all just worked out perfectly. When does it plan to open? Uh, Mid-August it will be opening. Uh, big opening for us. Uh, you know, I'm part of the Team Teague, and we got a lot of AAU teams and a lot of guys who play football. We got football parts and facilities and trainers in there that's going to be helping. Uh, we partner with IU Health, so it should be pretty cool. So basketball courts, training rooms? Uh, foot, half a football field, um, three courts, weight room, pretty much everything you can ask for in a sports facility. Was that another thing that someone came to you about and you wanted to get uh, behind, or was it kind of your idea? Uh, as far as the, the building. Oh, yeah. Um, really from my dad. Um, he does a lot of training around the city, and he was using his high school. Um, coaches at Northwest High School, and he was using that facility, and they've been great to us for over 15 years. He's been coaching there, so he wanted a building, and he wanted, so we found a partner, and we partnered with D1 Sports, and we made it happen. Had you known of, of Buddy or, or even watched him when you were growing up about uh, I knew who he years. was. Um, my agent, JR. Mm -hmm. like, growing up, I knew JR since I was like 10. He used to talk about him and talk about racing, Jeff Gordon, all those guys, and Indy cars and NASCAR. And he was kind of when I was younger, he used to put me on, on things like that. And I didn't know the difference for a while. And then when I was like 11, I went to 500, seen the Indy cars, and it was pretty cool. Got to hear it. I could hear the noise coming from where I grew up, how loud the motors and things were. So I got a little interested in this opportunity came and I just wanted to be a part of it. And you're going to attend the, the race? Yeah, race. well, I'll be there Friday. I know I'm going Friday, but it's a packed place, <laughs> man. It's a lot of people at that event, and it's amazing to see it. And so I'll probably go for a little bit and check it out. It's pretty cool. How has your – I mean, have you talked to Buddy – Face face personally about it, or no. is it just your guys' sort of representative? My dad went first, and uh, my little brother went, and I'll be there Friday, so I'm excited to meet him. Um, he's very excited, and we talked uh, through the phone and things like that. But my dad says he's a really good guy. My brother said the same thing, and they're excited about the race, and hopefully he can pull off one of those miracle runs. How, how much of the selling point was, or whose idea was it that? switch his number to reflect your number with the Pacers? Uh, it kind of just came about. Um, we both agreed that we would work together. And he thought it would be pretty cool to have the 44, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, all the logos and things like that. And the 44 was special to me just because, you know, being here and uh, what it means to me. And you see that on the car in the Indy 500, the biggest event in Indianapolis. It's crazy. How, I mean, how much was Buddy sort of asking sponsorship and how much were you sort of asking in terms of helping the building uh, be built? Uh, it was 50-50, basically. Um, I mean, I'm not saying he couldn't get the sponsorship from somewhere else, right. but for me, I know it was a, like, it was perfect timing. Like, uh, the building's going up and it's opening soon and to have a chance to get some publicity with that, it was huge.